Mika here from Super ATV. Today we're going to install a clutch kit on this Razor 900. And this process is used generally across the board for all Polaris's. Let's get started. This is our Rev 1 clutch kit that we're going to be using today. Uh, this kit comes with uh, the arms already set up, they're already pre weighted. We dyno tested these for each kit that we design. Uh, this kit happens to be a performance kit and it, the weights are already set up for that. In this kit, we also have additional weights if you want to do some fine tuning as far as RPMs or engagement. We include all that in this kit. In this kit, we also have two springs that we're going to be using. We're going to have a primary spring and a secondary spring that we'll be installing in this kit. So with that, let's get started. On this machine here, it's got an upgraded cover like the uh, Razor 1000. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to remove this clam, get this hose up out of our way. Now that the hose is out of the way, we have access to all of our screws on this cover. We're going to remove all these cover bolts. Now we got all the cover loose, now we need to just work it, get it up out of there. Just got to kind of rotate it up. Work it around this bar here. They make these things really fit. Just keep working at it until you get it off. Alright, this is, we got our primary here that we're going to put our primary spring in. This is our secondary. And um, we'll get some tools and get that taken apart. All right, we're going to remove this uh, bolt, hold the primary on. And we'll also move the bolt on the secondary. Break everything. That also loosens the belt up. Pull that bolt out. And on this clutch kit here, if you pull real lightly, there's a... Uh, the washer setting in here. So you don't want to lose that. On this 900 kit, they have these. Pull your belt off now. Then pull your secondary off. Now I have to get some tools for the removing the primary. We have our clutch removal tool. The screws in there after you get the bolt out. Screw it all the way in by hand. And we have an impact here. Screw it in there. the clutch loose. Also with that tool, we also have, if you don't have an impact to break it loose, we have this rod included with it goes in there then you can use a long extension bar to break that loose. Okay, let's go to the bench now and uh, start taking this thing apart, upgrading it. Okay, here we are on the table with our primary uh, clutch here and our secondary clutch here. We'll go ahead and we'll start with the secondary clutch here. Go ahead and get the spring changed on it on this kit. We do change the secondary spring. So, this is a spring compressor and Super ATV does offer this if you don't have one. We're just going to put all this together, tighten it down, because this is, cover is under pressure by the spring. This needs to be brought down to where it just takes a little pressure off of this plate here. Going to remove these springs, or these bolts. five of them on this one. 
Some of the units only have four bolts. So after you get these bolts removed, we just need to let the pressure off the spring now. Just kind of go slow. It is under a lot of pressure. Just gonna wanna be safe. Get all this taken apart. Set it aside right there. Go ahead and pull this cover off. It's just a little cap with a ring on it. We'll take out the old spring, set it aside, and we'll put the new spring back in. Just want to make sure when you look, get all this apart, you don't have any big chunks or mud or anything down in there. If it does, you want to make sure you get all that clean. Same way with the inside the cap. Basically, all you got to do now is just reverse the process. You're going to put your cover back on, put it back in the spring compressor. It's pretty quick on this unit. Just tighten everything back down until your plate touches. And then we'll put our bolts back in. Nothing to be scared about. It's pretty forward going with this compression tool. And again, we do supply that from Super ATV if you don't have one pretty safe tool. Just get your plate line back up to your holes. If you want to hand start all these first, make sure you have them all lined up right. hand started then we'll tighten them up and then we'll talk about before we put this back on the machine talk about some of the stuff we need to look at as far as maintenance stuff before you put it all back in as far as cleaning you almost need to clean the clutches about as much as you do the machine because if this doesn't work right then nothing works right need to set these at the factory spec. For this demonstration, we're not gonna do that today because we're gonna take all this back apart later. So after you get your five bolts back in, you get them torqued down, just take your compressor tool back off. And your secondary spring is changed. I'll show you some of the stuff we need to check real quick after we get this off. On the secondary here, you just want to check these ramps. This is the helix part on this 900. The helix is built into it. Some of the other ones have external helix. You actually remove them and where we took the cap off on the other side. But you want to check, make sure there's no gouges or any place bad on these helix in these areas here. What actually touches them is these rollers right here. You want to check, make sure there's no flat spots on these. And you also want to clean this up. You want to check your surface of your sheaves on both the inner and outer. You want to make sure there's no gaps or gouges in it. If there is, you need to kind of scuff them off. I suggest uh, Scotch-Brite. Clean all this up when you got it all apart. Soap and water and Scotch-Brite. Just clean that off real good. You'll get a belt, much better belt grip. So that's it for the secondary. Don't lose your washer, it goes in that area there. Let's move on to primary now. We're gonna use the same process we did on the secondary. We're gonna use our spring compressor. Set it up just like this we did before. Tighten it down, take a little pressure off the cover bolts. Screw that down a little bit, take the pressure off. Take these six bolts out. Now 
That's a good sign when you take these bolts loose that this drops down. That shows that if there's nothing internally wrong with your slides. And that's something we'll talk about when we get a little farther into this, like we did the secondary. Just pull all these bolts out. Get them out of your way. All right, the same, same process here. You just take your spring compressor loose. And we take the cup cap off here. Just set that aside. Paris does a real good job. I'll show you this. Hopefully we can see this. There's an X marked on this cover right here. And this is an indicator of where you need to line everything back up. On this, this is a piece right here. It's called a spider. It's got three legs on it. It also has an X. When you put it all back together or take it apart, you want to make sure all these are lined up. This sheave also has an X down in there, and I'll show you that once we remove these arms. Hopefully we can get a shot of that. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and take this spring out. We'll set it aside, we won't be using it. Now we need to take these arms out because with our kit, we have our pre-weighted new arms. So we'll set them out there. We also provide new hardware kit, new bolts and stuff. So we'll get them opened up and we'll take all this apart. Should be three bolts, three nuts. We'll note that these are standard bolts. Instead of using metric, you will use American. Just remove the nuts and the bolts. Set all these aside. Pull your arm out. Just pull one out at a time, then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna put Super ATV arms in with the new bolts. Installing the bolt the same direction that you're taking it out. They're all put in from the same direction. So you can see on this side, the bolt goes in this side and the nuts on this side. And that's the way you need to make sure they all go in the same way. We'll just tighten these up where they're just snug. We do use nylocks. So you just run them in there, you can hand tighten them. Go ahead and get all these out. Do the last one. As I was saying earlier with the X, while well, we got this arm out, down inside here, I don't know if we can get a shot of that, down inside there's an X. Right in there, you can just barely see it. But the MXs all need to line up when we make sure we put all this back together. That's pretty important. That's the way the machine was, this clutch was balanced that way. So it prevent vibration. And that's why it's important that all three of these arms are weighted exactly the same as for balancing. Okay, now that we have our arms installed, just a couple of little maintenance things you want to look at real quick. Each one of these arms lay on these rollers, and you just want to check all three of them to make sure there's no bad spots in them and they do roll very freely. And while you're at that point, you just want to grab a hold of the top and this part here, and you just want to shake it a little bit. If you've got a lot of movement in this area here, you want to see about replacing these buttons, or in some cases, you may have to get a new clutch. Um, they've making these uh, 
so you don't have to rebuild them anymore. It's just simpler just to get a new clutch. All right, we're time to put the spring back on. We got the arms installed, ready to put the cover back on. Our X is here in front. We're gonna line this X up with that. We're gonna put our compressor back on. Tighten everything back down. Then with like the secondary we did, we checked out the sheaves and stuff. And it's good to clean this up a little bit, blow the dust out of it. We get a lot of belt dust. A lot of belt dust creates a lot of, could cause a lot of uh, belt slippage. So you wanna make sure that you get that taken care of. All right, so I got that down here. We'll put our six bolts back in. It's like a uh, change of a car tire. You do want to rotate the every other one as you go around. You tighten these up. You do want to check your service manual for what the torque are on these. Like I said, we're, in this case here, we're just doing a demonstration, so we will not torque these today. So the primary is finished as far as the clutch kit goes. We'll just take the compressor tool off now, and I'll show you a couple things we need to look at on as far as the sheave and stuff goes as far as maintenance before we put this thing back together. As far as the primary goes, you want to check your sheaves again. Make sure there's no gouges or anything on either sheave. Run your hand around there. And again, if you got it apart, you might as well take the time to clean these with uh, some uh, Scotch-Brite and soap and water. Just clean them up really good, blow the dust off of them. It's just gonna make the machine run real good. Also, some of these bearings are one way, it only runs one way. This happens to be a two-way bearing, so it does roll both directions. You wanna check that, make sure it's good. And it should have a little bit of play in it. It goes back and forth like that. Okay, I think that's the biggest thing we wanna take care of today. Um, the biggest problem we run into a lot of people, we, I don't know if you can see this, this has a little small groove right down here at the bottom. That's pretty common. But a lot of people want to run around in high gear all the time at low speeds, and it causes the belt to slip in this area here because it doesn't grab real good. So if you're running below 30 mile an hour or so, you want to always run in low. And if you're going to run faster than that, you always run in, want to run in high. Uh, so if you don't want to ruin your clutch, running low if you're running low speeds. All right, I think we're time to start putting this baby back together. Let's go back to installing it. All right, now we got everything off the bench. We're ready to put it back together. We'll put the primary back on. We'll put it on the taper there and you want to give just a little bit of spin, make sure it's on good and tight. Seat it good. Go ahead and put your bolt back in. That screwed in a little bit. And again, you want to tighten that up and you want to torque that to the um, uh, standard for that bolt size for this primary clutch here. You want to make sure you do that. You don't want it falling off. We'll go ahead and put the secondary on. Sometimes after you take it apart, you need to wiggle around a little bit, get it slide on. And again, this is very important on this 900. It has this spacer that goes in there. I did forget to show you something. This also has an X on it. And we'll show you the other side where you can see it after you get it installed. On this one, I've got a pink mark already on it and it's got an X right there. And when you put your outer sheave on, you want to also line up that mark. And again, this has got an X right there, and we're going to line that X up there. On this 900, it's a little bit different than some of your other models. You want to go ahead and get your belt on the primary. Get it on the 
primary good. And put it on secondary again. Got the X right here. You want to make sure that your X is lined up. You'll put it on there. You'll have to kind of mess with this belt a little bit to get the splines to line up with your shaft. You may have to put it in drive. Get your belt up out of the way. Get it started on there. Once you get it on the splines, go ahead and put it in park because we need to rotate this around to get that belt to come up. Actually, you want to get it in park so you can spin this. And just kind of push it in. You should be able to get that belt to ride up. Up the sheath, so. Go ahead and we'll start the bolt. You don't want to tighten this up extremely tight. You just want to put a little bit more pressure on it than what I could with my hand. So we can kind of spin that, get that belt to come up. Get a little bit and spin it. If you can watch this belt, it should start coming up a little bit. And I'm going to turn it a couple times around there. Tighten it up a little bit more. See how the belt's starting to come up? A little bit more. So now if you can see that right there or not, the top of the ribs are starting to come up out of the, the sheaves right there, and that's a good thing to have. That means we're seated pretty good. Go ahead and tighten it up. It gets the uh, preload on the spring. And that's pretty much the clutch kit. And then spin around, just make sure everything looks right. Everything's spinning good. You're, you're sliding on the, the bearing on the primary. After you get it all back together, we just need to spin this a couple times, make sure everything looks all right. If everything does, just kind of look, make sure there's no dirt or anything on this seal. Then we're ready to put the cover back on. It's that easy. This process applies across the board for most Polaris models. If you don't have the tools we use today, we do offer these tools. Check us out on the superatv.com website or give us a call. Thank you for watching.